FDA approves firmware update for pacemakers, important information for users of Microsoft Office 365, and a botnet discovery on Android devices. This is Hacker Daily for Thursday, August 31st, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. The Food and Drug Administration has just approved a firmware fix for St. Jude pacemakers. The update from Abbott Laboratories is designed to fix vulnerabilities in its St. Jude cardiac pacemakers, which could allow hackers to deplete the device battery. Users will need an inpatient update with their health care provider, taking just three minutes. The agency stated, The FDA has reviewed information concerning potential cybersecurity vulnerabilities associated with St. Jude Medical's RF-enabled implantable cardiac pacemakers, and has confirmed that these vulnerabilities, if exploited, could allow an unauthorized user to access a patient's device using commercially available equipment. This access could be used to modify programming commands to the implanted pacemaker, which could result in patient harm from rapid battery depletion or administration of inappropriate pacing. And important information for subscribers of Microsoft Office 365. The application was the recent target of a widespread credential harvesting campaign, where attackers attempted to steal logins and ultimately launch attacks from within the organization. According to Barracuda Networks, Office 365 account compromise is becoming increasingly prevalent and carried out by hackers that take the time to craft personalized spear phishing emails that are hard to identify as fake. Unlike most broadcast phishing attempts, these don't contain bold requests, misspelled words, or questionable attachments that raise red flags, and they are usually tailored to the individual. However, these insider threats are not limited to stealing credentials. Attackers often request an urgent action, such as paying an invoice or forwarding sensitive information like employee tax details. Therefore, users should make use of multi-factor authentication for email security. And lastly, a new botnet was just discovered compromising Android devices. The WireX botnet was found hijacking apps and using them for large-scale DDoS attacks. Many of the identified wire axe applications fell into the categories of media players, ringtones, or tools such as storage managers. They appeared to be benign to the users who had installed them, and the applications also took advantage of the features of the Android service that allow apps to use system resources even while in the background, and are thus able to launch attacks even when the application is not in use. The activities of botnets like WireX are increasingly common. Researchers from A10 Networks had found that 38% of IT decision makers say their company endpoints and infrastructure have suffered a botnet attack at least once. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. And use our promo code HackerDaily to receive 10% off on all Hacker Arsenal gear. Once again, that promo code is HackerDaily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.